Hi, Randy K7AGE. On my previous video, I showed you the planning of what's required for my sound card interface to go between my iPhone and my iCom HD. But before we get started, if you like this, please give me a thumbs up during the video. You can also subscribe to my YouTube videos. You can follow me on Twitter at K7AGE and on Google Plus at Plus K7AGE. Now let's warm up that soldering iron. Okay, I have everything together here. I've got the instructions for the kit, PC board layout. Okay, here's all the parts that comes with the kit. We saw the printed circuit board before. And as we saw from the other video, I'm going to mount the interface in an Altoids tent. And I've pre-drilled this. There's a couple holes in the bottom here for the circuit board. I've drilled some holes and put some grommets for the cables. And then I have some cables here. I'm taking the easy way out. I bought some jumper cables. This was an iPhone headphone extension that does have the four circuit uh, plug here and it did have a socket. I've just cut that off. Uh, a wire stripper, a lead cutter, a pair of, of needle nose pliers to help bend the leads and a little screwdriver. I think that's about all I'll, I'll need. I do have one of these and the old timers will know what this is. Okay, step one of the instructions is to mount two of the 1N4148 diodes. They're right here on the board and you have to watch for the black line to line up with the little line that's on the circuit board here. And <clears throat> I just kind of placed the tip, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, on the hole and the lead and just put a little bit of solder and you'll see it turn silver and kind of wick up the lead a little bit and just do those four and cut off the leads. Whoa, that one went flying. Okay, the next step is to mount two 2.2K quarter watt resistors. I typically align them with the writing on the board. Just a little bit of solder on the pad and the lead. I see it wick up. Okay, next step is to mount this 430 ohm resistor. 1N4001 diode. Install the optocoupler that's already placed on the board. C1 and C2, a couple little capacitors. Okay, next is to mount the two transformers and get the other one. Doesn't matter which way it goes in. Okay, well that completes putting everything on the board here, soldering all of that. So it was a total of three resistors, three diodes, two capacitors, an opto-isolator, and two transformers. And I've looked this over, and I'm basically happy with it. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is make up my, uh, my cable ends here. I've got all my cables here that are going to go into the radio and the phone. What I'm going to do is strip off the outer insulation on each of these for about an inch and then strip off the insulation on each one of the wires and pull the, the shield back. So. I've got all my cables fabbed up here. I'm going to start with the 2.5 millimeter and I need the right white and the shield but not the red wire. I'm going to get rid of the red wire. And that's going to going to board's going to sit in here like that and that's going to connect to this upper side. So, the number one thing to not forget to do oh, no! is pass the wire through the grommet. 
So this cable goes to the mic in. Pull that through. Remember, always oh, no! <laughs> make sure you get that on before you solder. This is the wire that I need the 47K ohm resistor to ground. Mount the resistor in the ground terminal here, and I'm going to put a little loop on it so I have some place to solder. The shield will go on the bottom, so let's get that in there. And I'm going to put the shield through the loop in the resistor. Okay, so I have that twisted around there. Now, I said the black wire goes on the top, which means the red wire will go down through the circuit board. Solder that. The black wire will go onto the top side of the resistor. So I'm just going to uh, wrap that around the lead here a couple times and solder that on to the top of the resistor. And the last cable is the four conductor one that goes over to the iPhone. So again, put that through the grommet. Okay, so the way this is going to work, the top pad up here will be the audio from the phone. So that's left and right, uh, red and white wires. So those two wires will go into that hole. I'm going to treat the two center connections here as the commons. I'm going to put a piece of the cutoff uh, lead across there for common joint. And this is the lead with audio to the iPhone for the microphone. So this is where I need another resistor. So I'm going to put a resistor in here standing up and then connect the cables. I'm going to cheat. I have two tin wires in parallel with each other. I'm not going to wrap them around. I don't know if you can see this. I'm just going to place them next to each other and heat them both up and the solder flows and they're on. And we place this in here. Okay. So the board has some little cutouts here, and I'm just going to double check everything here. It looks like the wires are everything soldered, nothing loose, nothing shorted. If you guys ever had built a Heath kit, you remember what this little tool is for. It's a nut starter. You just press it down and it sticks in there, and you just hold it over the screw, and you twist it, and bang, there's your not started. That will work. I'll come back and put some cable ties around the, ca the cables here so you don't pull on things. But I think that should work. Okay, so let's do a little quick demonstration. I have two of these interfaces here. This one's on my V80 going to the iPad. This one's on my T70. With the iPhone, I can uh, say, let's take a picture of me, go to the front camera, hello, and tell it to use the photo. I just want to check the image here. It looks good. And go back here and tell it to transmit. Now, this will take about 70 seconds for it to come, come through. I'm listening to the audio. I mean, ID 51, I'm transmitting on 145.51, which is a slow scan frequency in the Sacramento, California area. So that's about all I have time for this video. We'll come back and look at these apps again. Again, this is the SSTV app for the iPhone by Black Cat Systems. And uh, that's about all I have for today. So 73 and I'll Turn the show back over to
to the Ham Nation gang. Randy, K7AGE.